What's going on guys, before this video gets going, just as a friendly reminder that tomorrow at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, the website for my merch line will be live and there will be a video coming out at 12 o'clock explaining where to go and how to get everything. Um, <clears throat> any support that you guys can give is greatly appreciated and we wouldn't be at this spot without you guys. So uh, check in back at 12 o'clock tomorrow for that, thanks. What's going on guys and welcome back. So I'm up here in Western, uh, West Springfield, Mass at the SLED Expo. So Snowmobile Associations of Massachusetts, SLED Expo. So we're at the Big E building and I just want to give you guys a quick walk around. So this is literally as soon as you would walk in and there are our buddies at Southside. So I'm just gonna kind of walk through, show you guys what it's about. So maybe next year, if you guys are, you know, kind of wondering if you guys wanted to go to a show or wanted to go to this show, kind of what, you know, Southside has, but also what everyone else has. So again, I'll just do a quick walk around. We have a ton of boots, a lot of clothing. When I mean a lot, I mean a lot. All the goggles you can need. There we go, it's been holding up this corner all the weekend. Good job. And all the 509 FXR helmets that Bruce and Southside carry. We Look at Tam all those beautiful helmets. We have Tammy here selling stuff. Rick from Woody's. We got Bob. Bob, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, so really awesome spot. Uh, we've been busy, very, very busy all weekend. So that's just what we have here. So we had uh, Woody's booth set up. We'll have a bigger Woody's booth set up next year uh, with a lot of products on hand so you guys can come and buy stuff. But uh, really awesome setup here. So um, we have sled sales. We have old Rhonda Bergen here because that's going home with Bruce to get the recall done. And guys, this is a this is a perfect, perfect time to talk to you about something. And we're gonna come over to this side and you're gonna do what the hell? I put it in the back of my truck to bring it here and uh, I guess you forgot to latch the side panel <laughs> this guy and guess where it is somewhere between here and Jersey so now we have to <laughs> get a new side panel and get it repainted for the new owner oh look at who it is I told you guys we were gonna have a uh, special guest appearance from Rick from Woody's well everyone this is Rick from Woody's hey everybody how's it going uh, Rick here from Woody's traction products uh, got the privilege to work with the guys at Southside all weekend been a great show and we got a couple new products uh not necessarily new products this year but uh some upgraded products for uh, the 22 23 season what do we uh, got first off you know the maverick released last year in january we got rave reviews on it here recently uh so it you know now has hard weld end pads comes in four six and eights for all your popular models out there whether it's your polaris's your skidoo product all the cats and yamahas all the aftermarket skis like cna slide dog all those have the availability of getting a new maverick um another option for a guy who doesn't want to traditionally stud the twist so our new screw-in style for anybody who wants something similar to a ice ripper style track not quite traditional studding but gives you a little bit better braking and a little bit of acceleration to get into the trailer off of the ice uh this is a, a easy you know screw in style stud that'll help you get a little bit of traction keep you safe that's our biggest thing is keeping everybody safe yeah and this is a big thing that me and him talked about because i didn't even know this was an option until this weekend so that is really cool for you guys uh i want to do something with bruce about installing them at some point uh, because they are a newer product yeah don't forget any of you ice fishing guys out there or some of you uh winter joggers or hikers we got a nice little boot style piece that screws in not crazy aggressive just don't walk into your uh wife or girlfriend's house on the hardwood with that one so <laughs> but yeah so we have uh you know we've been talking a lot with a lot of people about the wood or the maverick bars 
and uh, you know just how much better improved handling that you guys are getting out of these things from factory. Yeah, absolutely. So it's the biggest bar in the industry. Uh, it's crazy aggressive if you're running in any good snow conditions. It helps cup a little bit of the snow on the outside. I mean, it's not reinventing the wheel. You know, there's some bars out there that are that are very similar, but we just took it to the next step with our quality, you know, our materials, and then obviously our fitment. Yeah. And guys, as you know, this is what I run exclusively. This is what will be on my new sled on the way. It was what is on my old sled sitting over there. And uh, we're going to continue to use it. And then as for studs, what do we got? You know, as far as studding goes, you know, the world hasn't really changed when it comes to, it's just knowing, you know, are you a single ply guy? Are you a two ply guy? You know, we got, we got different varieties and different models of each one. If you're a really crazy ice aggressive guy, the trigger is a great stud to use. If you're a hard pack snow guy, the megabyte, like these guys prefer out here on the East. Yeah, yeah we, you know, run a, we run megabytes. That's, that's an absolutely awesome stud to try. Gold digger is the industry standard. Everybody tries to, you know, try to compare to, but I mean, it, it has the track trapping principle of the head. Um, and then obviously, you know, we, we do offer some colors. We need to upgrade a little bit of them, get some of them new hot colors that these guys are painting these yeah. sleds. So we're gonna work out a cool deal with Southside this year and try to make some of those custom sleds all match up. Yep. But yeah, so if you guys are in need of anything Woody's, call Southside Sales and Service. They can get you hooked up with whatever you guys need, whether that be carbides, wear bars, screwing studs, traditional studs whatever yeah and jesse and bruce's videos they've been putting out for the last couple years have been absolutely fantastic these guys are actually really knowledgeable about all our stuff so if you can't get a hold of necessarily them you know hit up our woody's tech line or find us at you know www.woodystraction.com that's it guys woody's it's the place to be all right guys so hi i'm steve mix savoy canary cats uh club's been around since 1972 just celebrating 50 years in, here in 2022 uh, each year, everything's done with volunteers and fundraisers. This is our fundraiser for this year. We're using a Polaris 850 from Southside Sales in North Adams, Massachusetts. Um, we do $20 a ticket. We sell around 1,000 tickets, and what we're trying to do is just get the whole thing done. It's, a, it's one of our only fundraisers each year. We do one more, but it's strictly for our scholarship fund. We do scholarships for... Uh, any of the members, their, their kids can sign up, help, help them with college. Yep. Pretty expensive thing these days. Yes, it is. It's very and, expensive uh, these days. It, again, it's totally volunteer. Uh -huh. Everything's done with volunteers. Good group of people. Come on out, take some rides. We get 75 miles of trails, all groomed. Uh, again, done by volunteers. <laughs> I keep, can't stress volunteers enough. Yes. But uh, great place to ride. We're at 2,000 feet in western Massachusetts, just south of the Vermont border. Beautiful. Come on down. We'll be here. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. And, uh, I mean, guys, we just did a video of me going up to turn to help out that club. And just like we talked about, you know, it's all volunteer stuff. So um, big thanks to Steve and everyone from the club to uh, get these trails going. And this is the website that you guys can go and get your tickets at. So get on there, buy a couple tickets, and help these guys out. What are you selling? I'm selling boots. Boots? What kind of boots? Some FXR um, X Cross Pros. Nice. Some FXR Helios. Have you been busy? I've been very busy. Yeah, it's been busy all weekend. It's been super busy. Mm -hmm. It's great. All right, we're going to go walk around. You coming? <laughs> all right. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> something you need to get a ticket for yeah you gotta get a ticket on that exactly it's only ten dollars december 10th right around the corner right around is the when corner. it's gonna be drawn That's so this cool. could be right underneath the christmas tree this year there you go <laughs> see look at all the cool stuff that you guys have here that's why you guys all have to come next year
So who better than to get to explain these uh, very, very old, very past my time snowmobiles that we have here, other than the one and only Bruce. Hi. <laughs> what What do we have here? Well, they, you know, at this uh, snowmobile sled show from Massachusetts, they always do a vintage area. And we brought four pieces of what we have, and then there's a few as we go down the line here. One of the, one of the early snow travelers, you know, they started making them in 54. That was Polaris's debut, but this is a 60. It's got a Tecumseh engine on the back like you find on a lawnmower. And then the uh, rear engine, obviously. That's, that's a survivor, basically. That's how it's sitting there. That's how we found it. Um, we got this uh, this Botel there was Grand Prix was the model of it. I've only seen one of these and my uncle owned it. I got a picture of him and my two uncles sitting side by side, one on a ski whiz because we sold ski whiz, Nancy Ferguson and the, my other uncle had one of these. The only one I've ever seen. This is in really good shape. 69 Colt, very simple single cylinder Hope somebody redid it. They did a great job. Yeah, on it looks it. really good. Uh, like an 81 or 82 Kawasaki Intruder, which was fan cooled 440. 440. Fast sled in its day. I've actually rode one of those for sure. And uh, they were a fast sled. Didn't turn real well. but Back in the day, was that like, man, I want that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was the, these. That, that was one of these sleds, yeah. <laughs> And then the phaser, obviously, those things that that brought Yamaha to number one between that, that did, yep, that that phaser, and then the uh, Exciter, which was the liquid 570. I mean, they <laughs> Yamaha was number one. That sled was an awesome sled. And Look at that 488 fan V Max. That was a very popular sled. That was a, a liquid. Can't remember what the CC of it was, but again, really fast stuff. Scorpion. Um, it says it's a 73, so it's, it was either got a sax or a, a hearth engine in it. And uh, then these here, my father sold when we sold Massey Ferguson. Massey in 76 decided to have Scorpion build their product, and we had these, but they were black and they had Massey Ferguson written on them. And but it was the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, just black and um, these had the straight handlebars on them. A lot of the uh, scorpions had like a buckhorn handlebar, <laughs> and, uh, and the uh, kind of like this one. Yes. Yeah. That was their, that was their thing. But uh, Massey Ferguson had the straight handlebar. But nonetheless, this is we. I rode these all the time. We were racing oval track, snow <laughs> in the backyard somewhere with these things. This here, I don't know. That is. It's a factory race sled skidoo. No kidding. Uh, factory race sled one of one. 1973. Oh, that's a... Holy crap. That's like Formula 3. Those were fast 600s for sure. Yeah. Another old Scorpion Stinger. Look at those little handlebars. Yeah. Mercury. We've got a couple of these. Barry away, 69, 70 Mercuries. Mercury and Emmett ruled, they really built some good stuff back in the day. Mercury, especially, obviously, everybody knows the old Snow Twister, right. Trail Twister thing. Those things were a rocket, and they were pretty far away from that. We're dealing with, from this thing, which was 69, to Snow Twister, Trail Twister was like 76, 77, 78. It was like another planet. Right. You know, and, and the <laughs> things were super fast. And that was the good old Panther, old 40. Mm -hmm. I think I got one of those upstairs, too. Do you really? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy to see where <laughs> where they've come from. Yeah. I mean, you guys know what we do now and what all the stuff we do, but this is this is where they started. Yeah, well, that's when, like that right there, there's where all your clothing smelled like gasoline. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because your car literally yeah, was right there. <laughs> Yeah, so a quick walk through that, and we'll touch on a couple other spots here in the uh, Tire Expo. Yep. But really good, really nice show. Yes, yeah, very nice. A lot of people, a lot of good stuff, a lot of deals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good deal. So, I mean, obviously you guys can't come to this one this year, but 
next year for sure. Yeah. You, know, you guys should come. Yeah, that late November at the Big E Fairground. Easy to get at right yeah. in Springfield. And guys, we're now at Worthington Snowmobile Club, and they are also giving away a XCR 850. So if you guys are interested in that one, they're doing 1,100 tickets to be sold. So if you guys are interested in that, look them up and see uh, how you can enter to get this beauty, win this beauty. So awesome sled, obviously. You guys know all about these sleds. We've done a million, million videos on them, so check these guys out again anything that you guys donate goes right to them to help them out to keep their trails open and running all right everyone we're here with whitney and she would like to tell us about hilltown snowmobile club so hilltown snowmobile club covers ashfield and plainfield massachusetts we are in between route 91 in massachusetts and the berkshires we connect to a lot of the other local clubs canary cats and the knoxville uh, riders so plainfield connects to Holly State Forest, which is a really popular ride area for us. We're raffling off a Ranger Polaris side-by-side -side for our club proceeds this year, $20 a ticket. Um, so everything that we earn from this is gonna go back into our <laughs> um, club for trail maintenance. So I have some photos and everything posted for everybody else to see. Can they get tickets online? We have Venmo. So yes, you can do tickets online and we can just fill in so the reach information. So reach out. Yes. Yes. So guys, reach out. Give another club a, help, you know, a lending hand and uh, help Whitney and her club. We're all 95% uh, landowned trail. So yeah. we have to keep that connection with our landowners. Yep. Yeah. So help out, peeps.